A Crime on Snake Island Part 1, the return to Snake Island Detective Harris stood at the dock, gazing across the shimmering waters toward Snake Island. The memories of his past exploration flooded back, he had uncovered ancient treasures, hidden ruins, and untold stories on that mysterious island. But this time, his return wasn't fueled by a love for adventure. It was for a different reason entirely, murder. The call had come two days ago. Eleanor Grant, the woman who had once led him to the island's secrets, was dead. Her body had been found in the very ruins they had uncovered together, amidst the treasures they had once marveled at. The authorities in the mainland had quickly deemed it an accident, but Harris had his doubts. Something didn't feel right. Eleanor had been careful, cautious. She had respected the island's power and its history. The thought that she had fallen victim to her own curiosity was impossible to accept. And so, Harris returned, determined to uncover the truth behind her death. Part 2, the scene of the crime Snake Island greeted Harris with the same eerie, enchanting silence it had before. The overgrown trees swayed gently in the wind, their leaves whispering secrets to the snakes that slithered in the underbrush. As Harris made his way to the ruins, the weight of mystery pressed heavily upon him. The crime scene was eerily peaceful. Eleanor's body had been discovered near the stone altar where they had once unearthed priceless artifacts. Her body had been found lying among the crumbled relics, a single snake coiled around her arm. The authorities had dismissed it as an unfortunate accident, perhaps a misstep leading to a fatal fall. But Harris saw more. The position of the body was too deliberate, too unnatural. And there, near the altar, he noticed something the others had missed, faint footprints leading away from the scene, deeper into the jungle. Part 3, The Hidden Motive As Harris followed the footprints, he pieced together Eleanor's last days. She had been on the verge of a monumental discovery, one that could shift the understanding of Snake Island's history. Eleanor had always been drawn to secrets, and the ruins they had uncovered were just the beginning. His investigation revealed that Eleanor had recently been in contact with a group of archaeologists and treasure hunters, individuals who had long coveted the island's hidden gems. Some had been desperate enough to break the island's sacred rules to get what they wanted. Among them was a man named Vincent Wolfe, a treasure hunter with a reputation for doing whatever it took to get his hands on valuable artifacts. Harris had crossed paths with Wolfe before, an opportunistic man, reckless in his pursuit of riches. Wolfe had been on the island the same time as Eleanor. Now, Harris needed to find him. Part 4, A Deadly Confrontation Harris tracked Vincent Wolfe to the far side of the island, where he was holed up in a decrepit shack near the shoreline. The detective approached cautiously, the sound of waves crashing against the rocks masking his steps. Inside the shack, he could hear Wolf muttering to himself, seemingly oblivious to the world around him. Bursting through the door, Harris caught Wolf off guard. The treasure hunter spun around, startled, knocking over a map of the island. He reached for a gun on the table, but Harris was quicker, disarming him with ease. Eleanor's dead, Harris said, his voice steady. And I know you were with her that night. Wolf's face paled, but he remained silent. You thought you could take the treasures for yourself, didn't you? But Eleanor was in your way. After a long pause, Wolf finally spoke. His voice was quiet, almost regretful. It wasn't supposed to happen like that, he admitted. Eleanor and I were working together at first. But when she found the real treasure, she wanted to keep it hidden, preserve it for history. I couldn't let that happen. That treasure was worth millions. What did you do, Wolf? I pushed her, Wolf said, his eyes glazed over. We argued, and in the heat of the moment, I shoved her. She fell, hit her head on the stones. I didn't mean to kill her, Harris. But when I saw her lying there, I panicked. I staged the scene, hoping it would look like an accident. Part 5, Justice on Snake Island with Wolf's confession, Harris felt a mix of anger and sadness. 
Eleanor had trusted the wrong person, but her death would not be in vain. Wolf would face justice for his crime, and the treasures of Snake Island would remain protected. As Wolf was taken away in handcuffs, Harris returned to the ruins. He stood at the spot where Eleanor had died, his heart heavy with the weight of the island's mysteries. Snake Island had always been more than just a place of ancient history and hidden riches. It was a sanctuary of secrets, both beautiful and dangerous. Harris knew that the island had many more stories to tell, but for now, this chapter was closed. Looking out across the island's wild landscape, Harris felt a deep respect for the power of the unknown. Snake Island would continue to inspire exploration and adventure, but it would also serve as a reminder of the thin line between discovery and greed. Eleanor's story, and the story of Snake Island, would live on, but Harris would forever be its serpent guardian, watching over its secrets with a heart full of love, respect, and vigilance. The End